course, both these guns are unloaded. First thing you should always check when you're dealing with any firearms, check and see whether or not it's loaded. One of the big differences I noticed between these two guns is the hammer pull. That's really tough. I, mean, I, I know that's been a complaint of a lot of people. This one, this one's not nearly as bad to pull back. Still got a pretty tough trigger pull. Anyways, I found a, a simple fix. Uh, I've taken apart other single shot shotguns that were held together primarily by pins. They were an absolute nightmare to get back together. I decided to take this gun apart and see what I could do about lightening up the, uh, the hammer and trigger pull. And it turns out it's really, really simple. All you need to do this is a number two Phillips screwdriver. It's got a 3 16 flat. A 13 millimeter socket with a 6 inch extension. I'll start by taking off the butt plate. We've got two Phillips screws. There's a 13 millimeter bolt down yeah. on the inside. The main spring is a flat spring and it's held in place by this screw, a small flathead screw right here. And you can actually adjust tension on it just by loosening that screw a little bit. This is something you definitely don't want to take too far because if you lighten up your hammer pull too much, it won't strike the primer hard enough to set the shell off. That's a big difference right there, just that little bit. Trigger's still a little stiff, but it's not nearly as bad as what it was. Well, there's an easy fix to that heavy hammer and heavy trigger on these Hatfield shotguns. If you decide to do that, you're doing it at your own risk. I accept no responsibility. I don't have a trigger pull gauge. I wish I did. So I could let y'all know how much of a difference that actually made. It, it made quite a difference. Trigger and hammer feel a whole lot better than they did originally. Really the only problem that I could see happening is if you loosen that screw too much and you have a failure to fire, which could be dangerous because you have an undetonated shotgun shell that the primer has been dented on, but not enough to be fired. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.